you want to create a symmetrical circle like you see in our 3D now. Grandma 3 version 1.8 has a new solution, a new circle workflow where you can easily and simple create symmetrical movements. So let's have a look how this works. First of all, we get rid of that, what is in our programmer now, and we select our grid. We bring the lights to full and we choose a position so we move them a little bit to the front. Now you know we can use our predefined phases. So in the all preset pool one, you can find a circle, for example. So the circle is running, that's great. But now we want to make it symmetrical and therefore we can use the matrix and a new setting you can find in there. First of all, we say we want to have two wings because at the end we want to have it symmetrical in the left and the right direction. So we want to have two wings, of course. Now you can find at the bottom of the matrix window a new setting which is called transform. At the moment it's set to none, but as soon as we hit this to mirror, you can see we created a symmetrical circle already. So these two wings are mirrored and you can have the first symmetrical movement. Of course, now you can adjust this again and you can use a face, for example, zero through 360 to spread the face throughout your whole selection and from the left to the right via your selection grid so that all the different fixtures do something different. And then you have the full symmetrical circle as we've seen at the beginning of our video. So the new transform setting to mirror helps us to create these symmetrical movement. What is the great thing about this is in the 3D, you can already see that when you have an odd number of fixtures, like in our front truss here, the middle fixture will get a slightly different color. And that indicates that this transform setting will automatically take care of the middle fixture with an odd number of fixtures and it will automatically only do the tilt movement. So no pan movement when you have a symmetrical circle. So great new improvement for this workflow. What else can you do? You can not only combine the mirror functionality with the two wings. So let's maybe get rid of the two wings and set the face back to zero again. And we combine the mirror setting together with groups, for example. So we have two groups, we invert those groups and you can see we created a symmetrical movement now for our two groups. So that's one other benefit of this mirror setting. You can also combine this with groups or blocks and of course the wings to create your symmetrical movements.